friends, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like it, so you won't miss new incredible stories and rare historical photos. The Axe-3 was designed at NASA Ames Research Center, ARC, in the middle 1970s. A prototype, it was created to prove that a highly mobile suit requiring little effort to operate, could use an internal operating pressure of 8 pounds per square inch. ARC, which was the designer and system integrator, also fabricated the double-walled fiberglass upper torso and brief structures, all the mobility joints and sizing hardware, and all the master plaster patterns used for fabric laminate layup. Aerotherm manufactured all the fabric structures and sealed bearing assemblies, plus assembled the mobility joints. Airlock fabricated the dual-plane torso disconnect to Ames design, along with the dome helmet, helmet disconnect, and glove disconnects. The Axe-3 used single-wall laminate structural fabrics with a modular mix and match sizing system. The Axe-3 utilized an Acurex Corporation bearing and seal design that substantially reduced leakage and minimized rolling resistance. It also employed a combination of toroidal, rolling convolute, and multi-bearing mobility systems. Overall, the spacesuit incorporated a mix of hard and soft suit components, including hard upper torso, hard lower torso, and hip elements made of graphite slash epoxy composite, bearings at the shoulder, upper arm, hip, waist, and ankle, and soft fabric joints at the elbow, knee, and ankle. The 8. 3 pounds per square inch, 57 par, operating pressure of the Axe-3, makes it a zero pre-breathe suit, meaning that astronauts will be able to transition directly from one atmosphere, mixed gas space station environment, such as that of the International Space Station, to the suit, without risk of the bends, which can occur with rapid depressurization from an atmosphere containing nitrogen or another inert gas. The program culminated in the development of the prototype Axe-5, an all-hard suit for high-pressure application and zero pre-breathe in the 1980s. The Axe-5 shared common design goals with the Axe-3. For example, they had to be easy to get into and out of, be comfortable to wear, and allow adequate mobility and range of motion for the jobs to be performed. Friends, thank you for watching and offer to discuss what you see in the comments. See you soon on the channel.